<coughs> Vlog days! Welcome to the neighborhood and thanks for sharing. We like sharing. <laughs> Shalene TV Space Shalene TV Podcast. Welcome to the neighborhood under your new channel. Everybody, make sure you go by and subscribe to her new channel and check her out. She's awesome. Bubba the Love Sponge says you look like Richard Dreyfus from Jaws. <laughs> and Terry Johnson agrees with him. He has dimples. I don't have dimples. He has dimples. Yeah, well, that's He's the... a round face. Mine's kind of... I think though it's a pretty good look. But you know who else what else or who else is a pretty good likeness? Is um I can't think of his real name. Luke Skywalker for the new Star Wars that's coming out. Look up look at the picture of him from the new movie. Yeah, I think that's a pretty good likeness too. So check that out, guys. <laughs> yes, I've got a lightsaber. Be careful. <laughs> Okay, my question from yesterday is, would you rather live in the country or in the city? And we had some interesting answers, but most people said the suburbs. Yes, which is why I had the funny look on my face yesterday, because uh, you had the extremes, and I don't like either one. You like the suburbs. I like the burbs. Okay. Burbs, well, baby. well, we we had some people actually pick one or the other, but most mm -hmm. said the suburbs. Daryl Roper says a little bit country, and I thought he was going to say a little bit country, a little bit rock and roll. <laughs> Donnie and Marie. <laughs> I was wondering if you would say that, um, but he said a little bit country, a little bit city. Proudest Mama seventy seven country all the way. Four acres, lots of space, peaceful, serene. serene. She loves having campfires and s'mores, and she's making me want to go there because I want peaceful and serene and campfires and not worrying about burning down the neighborhood. Um, Lucy Owl, Country Life. She says more neighbors and more fun, maybe. Um, I think you would get more neighbors living in a big city. Well, that's the thing about neighbors in the big city is nobody wants to really get to know you. Exactly. Tanya Longley says, country, peaceful, city, some some things to do. So she says, like, a town like her and I grew up in, it's a happy medium. Suburbs. And, oh. hello. Excuse me. Come over here, but. Excuse me. Come here. Angie Lupus <laughs> Life. <laughs> <laughs> Ow. I took care of that. If you want to play lightsabers with me. <laughs> Angie Lupus Life says she loves the convenience of a city, loves the peace and quiet of the country, so the suburbs is best. Destiny Swan, peaceful country, loves peace and quiet and nature walks. Yeah, me too. I like that. Greg Myers, suburbs. Melody Mainville, Mom's Vlogs 80, peaceful country. City is too congested for her. That's the thing I hate about the city, especially driving. Not that I drive anymore, guys, but uh, I hated driving in traffic. Tammy Alexander, country life. She lives in a small town in West Kentucky. 800 people. Population. Wow. That's not very many. No. No. Bambi S. Country, but close enough to civilization for necessities. <laughs> so just, just a strange noise going on in the other room, you know. Don't know what it was. Um, Cole today, I'm going to read her answer because I really liked her answer and I couldn't write down the whole thing. Val asked what could possibly be the hardest question for me ever. I live downtown because I love the noise, the people, all the dog be dogs being walked, and how close everything is. I can walk to anything I need in less than 15 minutes, including the farmer's market. 
However, I spent so much time on the farm growing up, I would love to have goats and chickens again, and also the space to expand my garden to grow month, a month's worth of food at a time instead of a small urban garden. I fear the question can never be answered. Conundrum. Yeah. I could see your point, Cole. Very tough question. Terry Johnson, suburbs, close enough to the city and close enough to the country. Jack Salmon, high in the mountains, <laughs> in the country. Except Life is hard, but it's worth it. But he says he realized he's in a, a matchbox. Yep. So, yeah, that yep. is true. But he used to live down in the cities, in the suburbs down here, and um, he just does not like the way that it's been built up and that it's getting so overly built and so overly crowded so he'd rather live up in the matchbox <laughs> um the abyss 92882 he says he'd like to live in the country because he wouldn't have to worry about his stuff being stolen that's not true stuff gets stolen no matter where you live so there you go. There's all the answers for today. I didn't get our answer. That's what I'm going to say right, right now. That's what is answer. your answer? I like, first of all, we live in the suburbs. We yes, live, we do. This, if we live in a, it's not a very large town called Corona. However, right next to us is another town, which is right next to that's another town. It's all Bay extension all the way into L.A. And it just, you get getting closer to L.A., it just gets more tighter and tighter and closer together. So that's... I guess what the suburbs really are. But what's neat about where we live is if we wanted to uh, go to the beach, it's about an hour away. If we wanted to go to the mountains into some snow, hour and a half? Hour and a half, two hours. Want to go to the desert? Hour two and hours. Half. Uh, so we're about within two hours of any kind of climactic change or, or whatever you want to do. So, and we're California, driving for an hour is, is never a big deal. I personally, and I think he, he knows that I would love to live up in Big Bear. I would love to. I love the mountains. Absolutely love the mountains. Living up in Big Bear, I would have the snow um, in the winter, you know, cold days, warm days. I would absolutely love to live up in Big Bear. Okay. And you might even be able to find a job up in Big Bear where you wouldn't have to shave your beard or cut your hair. I'd have to go out in the cold. <laughs> Bungle up. <laughs> My question for today is, in what situation are you most likely to procrastinate and why? It's time for... Neighborhood Community Credit Roll. Okay. Last night's question was about The Thing, 1982 John Carpenter movie. And um, it, it's kind of an interesting one because um, I don't know if it really has an answer. We did get some answers. I think um, Terry Johnson said that it was supposed to be Palmer was the character's name. And, um, but they didn't want you to know right away, so they had a, uh, one of the, the, um, the crew stand in because the guy who played Palmer was just too uh, too easy to identify. But in an interview with, with both John Carpenter and, um, what's his name, who's the Mac? Kurt Russell. It's right up to the very end, you, you never really know if it, who exactly is the monster. Right down with Kurt Russell and the other guy who was there. Yeah. Could have been anybody. Okay, today's trivia. Did anybody get it right? Yeah, it's okay. <laughs> thought I'd forget that. I don't know why. Terry Johnson, Tanya Longley, Greg Myers, and yes, Cold Today. Yay! Okay, today's trivia is about a movie that you, you probably didn't see. It's called Terror Vision from 1986. You gotta see it, it's actually pretty funny. It is, it, it was a comedy, horror, alien movie. It was all based on, in 1986, when everybody started getting those giant um, uh, dishes in their backyard, remember those? Um, so Terror Vision had to do with uh, uh, satellite uh, television. 
Um, and the, the movie prologues start on um, the planet Pluton. What is used for the building on planet Pluton? You'll recognize it yourself. There you have it. There's your question of the day. You are all part of our neighborhood community, each and every one of you out there. We love you all. <laughs> we love you all very much. We would not be here if it weren't for all of you out there. Thumbs up, and we will see you all tomorrow.